friends and welcome to another Baby Time Online from the Pflugerville Public Library. Today we're going to talk about the letter G. G. Alright, but before we begin, let's sing our welcome song. Remember, we use some sign language with this. We use more, together, happy, and friends. Are you ready? Let's begin. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Let's do it again. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, friends. Today, we're going to talk about the letter G. What? This is how you say, make the letter G in sign language. Can you see? You've got your fingers like that. The letter G. All right. What things start with the letter G? We've got the color green. That starts with the letter G. We've got giraffes and grass and grapes and giants. And last but not least, we have my friend the goat here. He starts with the letter G. All right, our story today, friends, is Giraffe is Lost by Roger Pretty and read with kind permission from Macmillan Children's Books. Please help me find my daddy. Giraffe is lost in the zoo. Can you help him find his dad? Is he in the ticket office? That looks like his ear. No, it's the monkey. What is he doing in there? Keep looking. Is that dad behind the big tree? What color would he be? What do you think? No, it's the elephant. Keep looking. Can you see him on the tour bus? Do you see anything that looks like it might be Giraffe's dad? No, it's the meerkats. Keep looking. Is he in the butterfly house? I think I can see his tail. Is that Giraffe's tail? No, it's the tiger's tail. Keep looking. What about in the cave? Do giraffes growl? <sighs> no, it's the bear. Keep looking. Can you see him in the cafe? Giraffes love ice pops. <gasps> but so do penguins. Keep looking. Or is he swimming in the duck pond? Can giraffes even swim? <gasps> no, it's the dolphin. Giraffes can't swim, can they? Keep looking. Surely dad can't be in the woods, can he? But then giraffe hears a familiar sound. Munch, munch. Who can that be? It's Daddy! Hooray! We helped Giraffe find his Daddy. Yay! Thank you for helping! The end. All right, friends, our sign language word for today is Giraffe. Now, giraffes have really long necks, so the sign for Giraffe is this. Giraffe. You make your hand go up your neck to show that it's really long. Giraffe. Let's sing a giraffe song. 
Parents, guardians, this is to the tune of On Top of Old Smokey. Let's sing it together. It's called I Know a Giraffe. I know a giraffe with a neck that's real high. She stretches and stretches till it reaches the sky. She lives on the plains with the elephants too. You might also see her when you go to the zoo. Giraffe. All right, friends, I have some mittens here. We have one, two, three, four, five mittens, and they're all different colors. Can you tell me what colors they are? Oh, that's right. Orange, yellow, blue, red, and green. Now, friends, one of these mittens has got a secret. It's hiding a snowball. Can you help me find the snowball? All right. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten are you found? Are you behind the yellow mitten? What do you think? Let's see. No, no snowball. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten are you found? Are you behind the orange mitten? No! No snowball. We only have three mittens left. Which mitten do you think is next? Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten are you found? Are you behind the red mitten? No! We're getting down to just two. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten are you found? Are you behind the blue mitten? What do you think? No, no snowball. Well, and we only have one mitten left, so it must be behind the green mitten. Yes! Our green mitten today is also starts with the letter G. G for green. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed counting and identifying the colors of our mittens. All right, friends, today we talked about things that started with the letter G, like my friend the goat here. Now, story time is just about over. Can you find things around your house with your grown-up that start with the letter G? Maybe you have some grapes or grape juice. Or maybe you have green grass in your front lawn. Take a look all around your house and see what you can find. All right, friends, it's time to say goodbye until next time. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Goodbye, friends.